is Bubba Jenkins. He is, of course, a bad man, and he is, of course, ready to get the PFL season started. Bubba, first, I guess, talk to me about the first season, right? Great, great regular season. Didn't necessarily go the way you wanted it in the playoffs, but I guess tell me about the experience and just kind of what you felt in, in this kind of the, the first PFL journey. Man, the first PFL journey was awesome. It was exciting. Um, got to see some great competition, great show, other than having to be in the quarantine for 17 days. But, I mean, it was everything you can expect or, or, or want in a big organization. You know, ESPN, they had brought all, a lot of celebrities out. Michael Vick, um, big childhood uh, superhero to me. Obviously, Ray Lewis was there, and me and him uh, developed a great relationship. Um, I call him Unk now, so I can call Ray Lewis whenever I want, and he picks up for me which is pretty awesome and yeah man um the, the first season was amazing i got to you know see what i needed to do to adjust and you know get acquainted with uh what the pfl is and the tournament style of things and you know preparing you know between fights and things like that so it was it was really awesome to be a part of how much different is that Bo? because it's such a unique format right like there's no other mma organization where you know exactly what date you're fighting on you know what right. i mean and, and i feel like a lot of people love that because you can really build your, your your entire life around it right but i guess the flip side is it's also pretty grinding as well right you're not taking time off if you need it so i guess right. pros cons what did you think about the, the way it's all scheduled and the way it's done well the pros man is just obviously having an understanding of like even now i have a fight april 28th but then i know for a fact that i'll be fighting again in atlanta june 20 you know things like that where it's like okay you know how much time you need you know things like that you know and the unknown is one of the biggest things in all of sports but to have a no is is a big advantage um but with that you know you you're back to back to back and it's it's a full season you know you're in there grinding for you know what was is close to five six months so you know it's a it's a it's an awesome thing to have that no but it's also, you know, uh, uh, an off season and an on season that, you know, most people don't have. So when you off season, when you really do have an off season like myself, you know, I, I got to put, put some things in organization, got to focus on a lot of things that, I, you know, were uh, uh, out of control in my life and things like that. So, you know, it was, it was pretty cool, but, you know, we're moving, we're focusing on, you know, getting better and, and the mistakes that we made last year and, and not having this 17 day quarantine was awesome. You know, got a lot of normality going back to what uh, an actual fight camp is. So that's awesome too. So we're just looking forward to Thursday night. I was going to ask you how much better is it to have a, a normal fight week, right? I mean, I know you much guys were better, appreciative. Much better. <laughs> got to see, got to see the people I needed to see masseuses, uh, chiropractors and, and things like that. You know, when we were in a quarantine um, for 17 days. It really hampers your ability to do a lot that you normally get ready for, you know, and, and you're taking away, uh, you know, a lot of people's lives uh, in the last important part of the camp, you know, almost, almost the last three weeks of camp is probably one of the most important if it, if, you know, if not uh, the most important. So, you know, to have that back with the same format is, is awesome. Can't stand okay. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that, man. All right. Let's talk about this matchup, man. You got, uh, you're got you starting out the regular season. Kyle Bogniak, uh, a tough fighter, man. He's been in some great fights over his career, I guess. Talk to me about the matchup and, and, and how you feel you guys, uh, you know, paired together. Yeah, man, he's a tough fighter. He's a lot of he's a pressure fighter. Comes forward, you know. Um, he's susceptible to some things, you know. So you know, he, he he leaves a lot of holes in his game to to make up for, and you know, racing or or, or finishing strong or, or getting to that finish line in, in the way that he likes. So you know, I, I I plan to beat him every step of the way on the way to the finish line, and uh, likely, you know, the, with the things that he's susceptible to and the things that I'm really good at, you know, likely I I, I stay ahead of him and I, I win this fight. I'm not going to say with these because he's a tough fighter and he's got a good mindset on him. And, you know, he said he's going to test my chin. He's going to test my cardio. And and this year we did some different things as far as weight cut goes and, you know, as far as, you know, organization in life. Uh, last year I was battling so many things left and right that were outside the cage that this year I just don't have to deal with. And, you know, so we'll put on better performances. And like I said, I hired a new nutritionist. So, you know, I, I'll have a lot more in the tank, you know, when it comes to the third round and things like that. So I'm excited about you know the performance that we're going to put on and 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 uh, the the Aquarius and, and Obojiak that I have to face me and him have the same exact birthday which is wild but uh you know he's 365 days older than me but that's about the the only similarities we have 
<laughs> That's amazing. Uh, all right, so listen, obviously the goal is, is the $1 million, is to, is to get to the end and get that win. Do, do you need to see Chris Wade along the way, or does that even matter to you? I'd like to. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Um, you know, that had a bad taste in my mouth. He obviously didn't get the bad man. Um, he got, you know, a version of me and, um, you know, I just, I, who, who as a champion, who has this champion mentality doesn't want, you know, to, to go back and correct some of the mistakes that you've made and, and, and see if you can get another crack at it. I think, I think most of my fans and most people know that that wasn't my best performance. They could see that there was something definitely missing in, in my ability to, uh, you know, step in the cage and, and, and put on the best show that I could. And, you know, when you got to look at yourself in the mirror and analyze some things, you definitely got to, you know, um, uh, you definitely got to sit down and talk to yourself about what you can do and what you could have done better. And that's something that we wanted to focus on this offseason and, you know, having a new nutritionist and things like that and just being more focused, more lasered in on, on the task at hand is a, is a much easier thing. Life is a lot more calm now. I love it, man. Well, listen, I, I, I'm not there this week. I was there last week, and I will say the vibe – of opening the season is pretty cool, right? It's just so unique in than anything else because you know you're at the start of this journey. I mean, in these other organizations, you're, you're taking a fight, but you don't really know what it's going to get you next or you don't really know. Like, it's such a unique vibe to know, man, you know, I'm a couple fights away from being there. So I guess, what's the goal for you, man? Is it th this first fight? Is it just go, you know, get three points? Is it get six points? Is it you know, make a statement to the world. What's what's, well, what's the goal here? year for me, my man. So anytime any athlete in any sport who has a contract year is going to try to put up big numbers. And, you know, I, I, I did well beating the champion last year and then had a late replacement and Bobby Muffet beat him as well. And, you know, was still on the verge of seeing if I was going to go to the playoffs or not. So this year, you know, I kind of don't want to be that, that edgy, you know, uh, I, I, it was wild how I could have beaten the two time champion and still maybe not have made the playoffs type of thing. But, you know, know this year you know with Kyle being as tough as he is and, and coming forward you know we want to try to finish everyone and anyone but um the goal is to go four and oh and, and collect that check get that belt put on the wall so that's the that's the main focus they changed my opponent last minute um you know so you know that that construed some things but you know we were already in the field we were already hunting we already had the scope we already had one in the chamber so you know kill still gonna get made shots still gonna happen and we're gonna bring something home on the plate I love it, man. Well, it gets started Thursday night, ESPN Plus and ESPN2 for PFL 22 season, uh, or I should say event number two. Uh, best of luck to you, and I guess we'll, uh, we'll see the real bad man on Thursday night. Absolutely, absolutely. Make sure you guys tune in. I'm coming for that title, man. That's what I need. That's what I want. That's what the family and friends and fans are looking forward to. So I'm going to be a bad man and do my thing.